Hello and welcome to week 10 of Allies of Justice. How's everybody doing? Wonderful. Doing good. Someone ran off the screen. Too fool. Who ran off the screen? Philip. Philip. Me, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I just went to blow my nose. I'm sure you didn't want to hear that. Maybe some people did. Jeez. Okay, yeah. fine. I'll get, I'll get, get attention and do it again. Don't you fucking Show care. us that no. sexy blowing sound. No, I'm not going to do it. Good. <laughs> Thank you. So, how's everybody's week or weeks been? No, it's been a week. Ugh. I've been doing good. Huh. No, survived through Irma. Happy about that. Wasn't a big deal, actually. Uh, it's way more prepared than I needed to be, but thankfully I'm still here. It's all good. Good. Oh, that's still a good thing. And luckily none of our players lost power, so that's also a plus. Oh, we did, but no, we got generators, so we like, fuck that shit. <laughs> well, power didn't we didn't lose permanently, though, but during the storm, like, I just ended up playing Monopoly all day with the children. <laughs> like... Fucking bastards, I'm gonna teach you how to manage money by losing. <laughs> what, you weren't gonna DM a little game for them? I don't know. I don't have any, uh, like physical copies of inside <laughs> my area with me. Hey, what, you got no books with you? Come on. Oh, it's all storage. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, with that oh, put out of the way, let's go ahead and get things. Started. Oh, we're not going to introduce the new face here? No, not yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's going to be the Asian shadow for a little bit. Okay. That's judging you all. Baby. <laughs> oh, you know it's an you. Asian shadow. Why can't it be a Mexican shadow or a Filipino shadow? That's still Asian. Never mind. Take that back. Or an Australian shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Back up. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I'm trying to do other <laughs> ethnicities and I accidentally get back into the it's Asian like, Oh, how do we know it's an Asian shadow? What if it's a Russian shadow or a Filipino shadow or yeah. a Japanese shadow or an Indian shadow? Oh, wait. I was just naming random ethnicities and then I accidentally dipped into the Asian market again. And I was like, oh, shit, damn it. Asian market. Wow. What's wrong with the Asian market? Because I was trying to make a point. <laughs> Your point was lost. And you now shall be forever judged. <laughs> oh, so. If Knight didn't know I was Asian by now, I'd be worried. I would be worried. <laughs> Why? Like, oh, I thought she was like, just like really hard at seeing, just squinting all the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> getting into the game, oh. who wants to do the recap? I think I should. Yeah, you go ahead. I've done it like three times. Sorry. No, Sarah should. Let's Okay, so last time on um, Allies of Justice, uh, we just got finished, uh, you know, uh, hurt, hurt, hurting some folks from before they were hurting us. Um, and then uh, Connor and Bear came along and they were kind of drunk. Bear started rolling around. It was funny. Um, then you see. Uh, Thomas and uh, Mr. Kronk were having a disagreement on exactly what to do with the uh, survivor of the uh, little encounter. Um, Thomas wanted to kill him. Kronk was like, nah, we should bring him in. And so that's essentially what we decided on doing. The guy uh, woke up and while Kronk was trying to get him to our side, he was unable to. So we just decided, eh, we'll just throw him to the slammer. In, in the meantime, uh, Mr. Uh, Crux Crux, as, as his name is Gub Gub, um, decided to start burying the uh, body with a hatchet, which was interesting. But um, I thought he would start using his hands, but whatever. Um, and uh, with that, he, he also pocketed something, but that neither here nor there. Um, after a few things happening and... Again, uh, reaffirming that Crystal is a horrible person, we decided to head back to the uh, <laughs> to the uh, <laughs> town to make sure that uh, we got the guy back to uh, the jail time stuff. Also, um, Connor is terrible at explaining stuff, as we saw with uh, Miss Babadook, uh, and he just 
and he also seriously, seriously needs to stop drinking because he cannot hold his alcohol. And that's the long and short of it. Uh, when he finishes calling, it's over to Philip, and he says, "I mean, as a, he's like, who are you dogging to?" <laughs> oh, the fairy friend that I have on my shoulder. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Connor looks at your shoulder. He's like, "Oh God, not oh the fairies." God. Not again. Uh, don't, no, no, you, you, you can't see him. Alright. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. jumping back into <laughs> <laughs> the game. We're hit with <coughs> a wave of heat, sand brushing against your legs as you make your way towards Elf. The sun <laughs> looming in already... the sky at around late afternoon. It's getting later with everything that's happened with the today in general. It's surprised it hasn't been months. <laughs> Walking into the city, you start to peruse around looking exactly for what it is that Mama Baba Duke pointed out for you guys. Go ahead and make uh, spot checks. Not gather information? All right. Did you already Which gather the information? The appropriate instead. Sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to change my thing. Yes, I know. Ash, don't worry about it. <laughs> Look at that. I five. actually rolled twice. My bad. It's the best five ever. It's the same number either way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So with the information given to you by Mama Babadook, you're eventually able to pierce out the buildings on the pier for one that looks very similar to the what she described. It's unmarked, but at the same time looks in that kind of a way that you look at and you think like, huh, this seems awkward from everything else and as far as we know could be the direction of where we need to go. Hmm. So what was the guy that uh, she wanted us to Jailer fight? Road. Road? Mm-hmm. Okay. <coughs> How's the uh, guy on the uh, that's tied up looking? As you turn back, him being corralled in front of Kronk Kronk, he looks still as disorderly as he did before passing Mama Babadook in just waiting for one pining eye to take notice so he can basically call out bluffs to try to get his life saved. So he's just looking around tied up and just keeping an eye out for someone that could be sympathetic in his cause. Mm-hmm. How's Meanwhile, Gunga behind Kronk, you <laughs> yeah. can see... Oh, what is that guy's name? Thomas? Yes, Thomas currently standing behind Kronk, his axe rested against his shoulder, shirt still off, showing off his pecs, and his slow Personal attempts tattoo. at abs <laughs> and tattoos. As he's just mm. looking at the prisoner of you guys with ire. Meanwhile, Gub Gub <laughs> is on the actual other side of Kronk. Everyone around Kronk, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone takes the bullet first. Looking through his pouch, looking like he's thumbing through something hidden through the brown leathers of his tattered pouch. Okay, I attempt to slow down even ever more than I am, or speed up to try and catch up to Gub Gub. Hey, Gub Gub, what you got there? Huh? Gub Gub don't know. Sounds like every pedophile ever, what you got there, kid? (laughs) <laughs> huh. Do you not know what you what what you got in your bag? Gub Gub found it off dead body. Huh. Maybe I can like praise it. See 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 what it is. It takes a look I'm, I'm, up at you. Kind of I can figure out what second. it is. <laughs> As he shrugs and takes out of his bag. <laughs> A silver gleaming object that has a mouthpiece similar to a flute, except it's around five or so inches long. Looking at it, it has an indention that's cut into the top. 
that's next to the mouthpiece. That doesn't seem to be like a, um, a tuner or whatnot, like a flute, so it's odd. And the biggest thing is, going past that, it curves into like a circle that reconnects to the mouthpiece. Okay, so out of character, is, 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 is it a whistle? It's a whistle. Okay, all right. Why is it five huh. inches long? Five inches long is about that base. So it's a pretty, pretty big whistle, but, you know, it's a whistle. The hell is that? <laughs> I mean... That's what Gub Gub said. I mean, it seems like there's a mouthpiece. Have you... Don't, don't blow on it just yet. I feel like we should test it out somewhere where there's not a crowd of people, but I feel like it's supposed to go in your mouth and kind of like a flute, you're supposed to blow into it. He shrugs and just throws it in a bag. Oh, it's made out of silver, so it should be able to fetch Gup Gup some gold. Are you sure it's made out of silver? He nods. Okay. Connor stumbles over, he's leaning against Bear. He's like, oh, Bear, there's Barley's. It's right next to the jailhouse. Who knew? He says, oh, oh. I have to take you there sometime, Bear. Barley's? Yes. Oh. They have this food, Bear. It's called nachos. It's like something covered in cheese. It's amazing. What is cheese? If you don't know, you're in for an experience, Bear. Oh. Bear can't wait. <laughs> Oh, but Bear's running low on money. Oh, it's it's okay, Bear. Uh, Barley is... He's, he's a pretty good friend, you know. He, he likes to take care of his patrons. I'm sure we'll, we'll get work it out like a little discount for the homeless. And he looks at you, uh, Bear. <coughs> so you could just pretend to be homeless, can't you, Bear? Oh, Bear understands. He gives you a two-eyed wink. Yeah. <laughs> Connor nods, and then he looks over, he says... Oh yeah, yeah, uh, speaking of, Russell, you promised to get drinks. We're gonna be heading to Barley's later, he says. Um, well, um, what? Are, aren't we supposed to be speaking to that Collins chick? Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not talking about immediately, he says. Uh, right, and he looks around, he says. Check the time. Yeah, yeah, not immediately. I, I How look do you check the time? <laughs> With my watch, it's this magical instrument that allows me to tell what time of day it is. <laughs> Why are you looking at your wrist, Connor? And then he says, oh yeah, it's not there right now. <laughs> Do you want a massage? Uh, Connor looks at Bear trepidly and says, no, my friend, no massage, please. Kind of backs away. And, and then looks over at Kronk and gives him a look, and then looks back at Kronk and then looks over at him. Like, should we really be taking him to the Karnan's woman? <laughs> Especially in the state that he's in. <laughs> Connor looks over and he says, Don't worry, Bear is fine. Right. That's, that's why you should be at the Barnabies. But as you guys continue to move on, eventually you make it to the building. On the outside, you see a rather gruff-looking individual, arms crossed, <laughs> and basically looking like someone that's been up all day. His eyes are slowly starting to droop and seems to be suffering from fatigue. Is this individual familiar? Not to your knowledge. Not anyone you encountered yet, at least. Okay. <laughs> Bear. No, no. You have to know where Road oh. is. Oh, hi. Um, he rubs his eyes. How can I? Road? Yeah, he's inside. Um, <clears throat> what can I do for you? one of the gang brothers here. Got one of the... His eyes, like, blink rapidly. Gang brothers? What? <laughs> well, he's one of their, you know, underlings. Not the actual people who run the gang brothers, but, you know, a, uh... employee of them. 
As he's like looking at you guys, he just turns, not taking his eyes off you, and just begins to knock on the door. Road? Road? Uh, Connor leans over to whisper to Bear. He seems a bit skittish. The prisoner kind of chuckles a bit at that. You all should be skittish. Connor looks around. Who said that? Turns to say, was it the fairy? Just, just keep looking forward. Hey, pay no attention, Ben. Trying to weasel out. As time eventually passes, a couple of seconds later, the door opens as a clean-cut, imperial-looking male comes out. Strong, strong blue eyes and buzzed head. Dressed in what looks like male armor with a sword sheathed to the side. What is it? As he turns to look at you guys. And then down at your prisoner. I'm guessing you're transporting a prisoner. He says, raising a brow. Yeah. We got one of the Gank Brothers underlings here. As you say that, he then turns to the man outside, and he's looking back up at Road with a pining expression of, like, I don't know what to do. (laughs) (laughs) Road turns back and just nods and is like, bring him to a cell. Like, is he motioning me for br- to bring him into the cell or to hand him off? Well, he's telling you to come into the... He's motioning you into the okay. building and he's saying bring yeah. him to a cell. Alright. I proceed to follow and go inside the building then. I shuffle in. <laughs> you notice there's a, an immediate desk, like, right in front of the door itself. And then moving beyond that, you see a large wall that has about eight separate barred rooms. All with bars X lying the perimeter, um, perimeter of the rooms themselves, with one window going out that's also blocked by bars. Noticing, though, it's actually pretty empty in here. There's not many people working here nor is there many people in cages but it's still enough to give you the idea that like if you get locked up in here at least any of you guys you'd be having a hard time getting out not a lot of crime happening over here you know no because i keep running away just like this slippery son bitch go ahead Throw them in there. You can keep your tassels. He says to you to take your um, means of locking him up, which is vines currently. (laughs) While while, while they start to manhandle him into the cage, Connor will kind of step up a little bit. He'll draw like a little short sword on his waist and he'll like, just in case he squirms a little bit. Understanding his position, he... It's smart enough not to make a break for it, though. Oh, man. Thomas is begging for him to do so. Because <laughs> he's like... This is the first time, really, Connor, you and him see eye to eye as he's, like, waiting there as well. Except hoping that he makes the wrong decision. Uh, I'm a triple. I, I see that now. Um, Ate's gonna shuffle over to Thomas. <coughs> And he's just going to kind of whisper to him, I think you should probably keep your back to the wall or whichever part of your body has that number on it. He turns over his shoulder looking at you and then back to the floor silently contemplating before turning back to you and just giving you a nod and just tucking his arm closer towards his ribs. Yeah. 
Connor mimics him. <sighs> but after taking off all the vines and whatnot, Kronk, Bear, and Rode shove in the individual into the caged room before locking it behind him with a heavy metal clank. And as he stumbles forward, he rebalances himself and sets in the middle and slowly turns around as his eyes would start to inspect the area that he's in, looking from side to side, then back out the bars towards you guys, before just giving you a sneer and moving towards the bed in the room and laying down. So how is it that you keep having trouble keeping these guys in here? Well, it helps not a walled city. So them getting crimes up. <laughs> and running before the guard can rally is a problem since they could just run to the woods and we can lose track of them. And you haven't invested in a wall because. Tide won't allow what? it. Really? Why not? Do I look like the type of man that understands a blue folk? As it looks over Kel, um, Crystal, Crystal. And then Dr. Hill. Uh, Connor <laughs> leans over to Crystal. He's like, "Don't worry, I got you." No toleration for racism. Looks at the guy with a steely gaze. Anyway, yeah. Crystal doesn't really respond. She just glares at him. Um. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, thought about you did. If he had any kind of respect of what I thought that was safety for this town, he would have implemented those months ago. Okay, well, I'm sure he has his reasons. Um, however, Commander Road? Commander, is that, is that, is that your rank? Connor, Connor looks over and adds it. Says, Deputy. Jailer is more likely. Doesn't seem like he's doing his job very well. <laughs> Snarky. Mm. There's no need for name calling. Connor at says, all. I'm sorry, I just don't deal with white folk. And then he looks at his own skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Still giving him the eyeballs. He <laughs> glares at Connor for like stealing his glaze back to the group. I suppose you want your reward. Yes, please. Before he just gives these steely glazes at Connor again, after taking a couple of foot, heavy footfalls towards a desk into the corner of the room. Okay. Uh, hey, I, I, I look over to uh, Kronk, our first reward. Yay! Depends if the bounty's official. Well, we'll see what he gives us. But hey, <laughs> at least we now know how to have a, have a good setup. And hey, maybe with our help, we can fill this place up. Connor kind of gives a nod when you say that, Ed Zade. He's like, I appreciate the thought, he says. I would not mind capturing more criminals. And kind of because of, look at uh, Thomas. Mm. I also lean over to Kronk and say, we should also keep a lid on uh, our friend's certain abilities because right now he's angry <coughs> the deputy and I feel like if he tries anything, it's just going to send him in here and I'm not really looking forward to that. Me one second. Yeah, I don't have any points into it. Good job. <laughs> I thought that much was pretty much a given. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see his. Oh, that's a that's a that's a cute photo. I like that photo. That's nice. Got a huge nose than I expected. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> as Rode comes back eventually with a paper in hand and looking it over and reading it 
as he takes his cudgel and beats it against the bars. Get up on your feet! Show your back! As the guy in there kind of just looks at him, gives him that snarky no face again, and then lays back down as Rogue gives off a smile. I'm okay with that. As he takes the cudgel and puts it towards a notch on the other side of the like corner of this room. As the cudgel begins to glow with the soft light blue. As the low hum of energy seems to radiate inside the cage as the guy in there just begins to spasm in pain for a couple of seconds. You want to try that again, then? And now looking with a realization of what he's through, his eyes look like he just was electrocuted with, like, some powerful magic. He quickly starts to rush to take his clothes off to show his back. And as Deputy Road looks at his back and back at the paper, he gives a couple of affirmative nods. All right. It looks like he's a member. So, as per payment, he hands off a gold pouch to the first person to take it. I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, take it. Yeah. Connor would like to uh, <clears throat> roll inside to see if he's trying to shortchange us. Sense motive. Yeah, sense motive. Why would you know? Go right ahead. Eh. Eh. This man <laughs> has strict military training that shows in his complete lack of showing any type of emotion other than ire and hate. So, you're not able to grasp anything that seemingly looks like deception. Okay. Mm. Connor just gives like a nod. He's paid his dues. You know, he may be a little bit racist, but at least he's fair. Um, as he speaks up, so, um, uh, that's a neat trick you got there. How can we get one of those? I I was not going to go to that. that <laughs> path Being someone that's recognized <clears throat> and thanked by the king directly. In my time as a scabbard, I had many, many medals in the war. And many to come after it. This. As he gestures to the entire like, jailhouse. Is my payment to those dues. And as he grabs the cudgel and, like, holds it behind his back, and I stands, like, straight up, and I do it with honor. Respect. Okay, uh, kind of actually gives, like, a little <laughs> nod. And, uh, he says, well, good for you, he says. And then he says, would you like a drink? And then he holds out his bottle, realizes he's drinking, and he's like, Sorry. I do not drink on duty. Nor will I sully my senses on it later. Connor just kind of gives him like a little frown, like that's strange. Cat butt. <laughs> now, if there's any more business that you need to attend to, we can finish it now. If not, I have many more papers to get back to. Ah, uh, yes, the joys of paperwork. Okay. It's not right. much, but are there any other human threats on this island? Island. island. Continent, whatever you want to call it. I've been yeah. thinking it was an island the entire time. You've got the rest of the gangs and the ones that actually matter instead of this small fry. Though, he turns, putting like a hand on the bar. I'm sure I'll be able to get information out of him regardless. So you have my thanks on that. And then the first evidence of like a creepy smirk goes like up the side of his mouth. Uh-huh. 
That's unsettling. All right. Yeah, we should, <clears throat> well, we I guess. Really should really talking to that kind of chick. As you yeah. guys are like saying this, like the prisoner guy you left in here is now like face is pale white and it's looking like he's stricken with fear. <laughs> okay. Well, we should probably get out of here. Um, thank you for all your help. We might come back later. You keep doing you. And, uh... Yeah! Bye! You, sir! He yes. turns and, I do not condone doing dangerous matters on a one leg, but if you choose to do so, be safe. Will do. Thank Connor you. Kind of looks at him with like a praising surprise, and he gives him like a little <laughs> smile and nod. He's like, oh, okay, <laughs> maybe not so bad after all. Thank you. Still Dan racist. Though. Okay, let's get out of here. He's, he's gonna start shuffling a little. And as little you guys push. are leaving, he just has his arms crossed tightly behind his back. His posture is straight, militaristic, and eyes cold as he just watches you guys leave with no emotion on his face. Oh. Out, 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 out. Okay. All right. We leave. All right. When we uh, get out, Connor's going to turn towards the guys. He's like, oh, do you guys need any more help with anything? No. I hey. think Bear needs some things with you. Yeah, he nods. And he's like, yeah, uh, well, Bear, let's go get those drinks we we're talking about. <laughs> What's the, um, is the guy who was outside the uh, door still there? Yeah, he's still there. Okay, so I kind of lean over to him. Is he always like that? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a nervous look back into it. Oh, okay, apparently that's pretty... <laughs> okay. What? What? I bluffed. I... I don't oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I guess I would have to roll a sense mode if I want to, but I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna make that, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna make that. So, um, okay, well... I mean, was he... Is he just having an off day, or...? No, no, he's fine. All right. Thank you for your assistance. Have a good day, citizen. Thank you. Um, what's your name? Oh, Pike. Pike. All right. Nice to meet you, Mr. Pike. I shall... Oh, yeah. He takes his glove off and leans in and shakes your hand. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, talk to you later. Um, if you all need any help, you call for Kronk and Co. Adds a Kronk and Co. <laughs> Adds a Kronk and... Co. Hmm. As I gesture to everyone else. <laughs> right. Very well. You enjoy your day, citizen. Cool. And I'll start making my way back out. And uh, if Kronk is there, I'm going to lean into him saying, okay, um, something that came to mind. That prisoner that he has now is probably going to spill the beans that we now have another gang brother with us so no we don't we have an ally with us yes yes but a with the former gang yes a former gang brother right but that's why i said assuming still that the has... was official <laughs> he uh, still has the tattoos, man. did you say his name was pike or puck pike, pike. So I think we're gonna have to deal with that. Like, I look, I look over to Thomas. Uh, we're gonna have to disguise you some way. He's You're... busy with a finger in his mouth. Not mouth, his um, nose. Hey, Thomas. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I, I mean. You're, you're 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 a tough guy, right? I mean, like you can take. Need, it, mm, need me to prove it? No, Again. well, no, not really. Although, it's kind of for the sake of what 
I'm about to ask. Um, if you mind, where exactly is your um distinction that you were a dink brother? <laughs> As you say that, the recognition like goes through his head, and he gives you a nod. Somebody got a knife, sword. I got a, a crux I, knife. I don't know how exactly how good that is. Don't don't use that. That looks. <laughs> that, 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 that looks a bit nasty. I have, like, here. <laughs> you can borrow my. Okay. I have an iron. <laughs> I so yeah, if you, you hand him a blade, he yeah. then like, turns, looks at a street corner that like goes off into an alley or like a, out of the eyesight of people and goes in that direction and does anybody follow? Yeah. I keep an eye out uh, on him. Connor's like, no, no more blood for me today. And he's like, bear, let's I go get those drinks and he walks off. I'll keep an eye on him. Are you so gonna follow? From a distance. Yeah, just from a distance. Yeah, you, yeah, you might be just the only one actually with him. So as you go in there, you watch <laughs> him take the knife and using his axe to re like reflect the surface, just starts to carve off a tattoo from his skin with the knife, like gritting his teeth in the process. But <laughs> yeah, it's probably good that um, a certain Connor was not there. <laughs> <laughs> As he finally finishes by gritting his teeth and taking the couple of strands of flesh and just tossing it on the ground. You're muted, by the way. Anthony. Ooh. I didn't say anything. Oh, looked like you were mouthing. No, I was scratching my beard. <laughs> <laughs> Meet it again. Cheers, mate. He hands you the bloody dagger. Or sword, whatever you gave him. The knife. Yeah. You're, you're, you're gonna be okay? <laughs> Just need some alcohol and I'll be good. Well, here, I hand him a mead. <laughs> One liter of mead, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have liters. I just have bottles. Like one tablespoon of mead. <laughs> the best medicine. I hand him a <laughs> mead. All right. He, he takes it. Take my knife. <laughs> takes the cork off should... with his mouth and gives you a nod. And then I hand him the pouch after I removed seventy gold. It's like, this is your share. He looks at it a little surprised. Actually paying me. Huh. Alright. I had every intention to my word. You're on the up and up. Maybe we can be allies. He says with a smirk as he starts to down the mead and head back to where the rest of the group was. So you should speak to Crystal, the the blue chick. She'll be able to fix that up for you. So racist is up to be honest. All the racism in the game. <laughs> oh, uh, that's not racism. That's just describing who you are. <laughs> you can't say Samson and not be blue chick. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the real world. <laughs> Could just say the chick. Meanwhile, while you guys were waiting out there, it's been a long time, mystery person, but eventually you finally caught up with these people that you've heard that have been starting up some type of coalition here in the new world. Yay. And the prospects of being able to follow a group with that with your profession is just too good to pass up currently. Oh no. As the one that seems to be one of the leaders of the two is standing there, looking like he's missing a leg. Oh my, 
That's something new. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell that he's like one of the people. Yes. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> No, he does seem to be loitering there with right. people that you recognize to be similar of race and description of people he's been traveling with. So you well, assume he's this is him. Staring at a certain location, too. Yeah, and yeah. staring at a street corner. So you're looking at him from behind. <laughs> I will run up excitedly and then just stop right before getting to them and say, Hi, excuse me! I turn around. <laughs> oh my god. Describe who he sees. He sees a very petite girl, probably around late teens. She appears to have pointed ears and white hair and blue eyes. She's not dressed in any armor, rather she's dressed in what look like performance or dancer's clothes. But she Hello. looks very happy to see you and very excited. Hi, um... Uh, are you- Can I join your group for adventures? <laughs> <laughs> um... um. Well, this is sudden. Uh, what's your name, Miss? My name is Naomi Liu. Naomi Liu. Okay. But you can call me Nay. Okay, Nay. Um, exactly. Uh, what do you do? I play the harp. <laughs> But, but I can do other stuff, too. Like, I'm not that... Uh, I can make you feel better with my song and dance. You're so hard. <laughs> okay, I look over to everyone else in the party, making sure that they... That this isn't one of my hallucinations. This is... Everyone else is seeing this. <laughs> and hearing this. It's around this time that Kronk and um, Thomas come back. Um, hey, Kronk, can you, uh, come over here for a second? Yeah? Um, this young lady... <laughs> I wants... need a new token. <laughs> this young lady wants to, um, <laughs> join our... <laughs> Where'd it go? Join our, uh, adventuring group. She's really pretty. Well, what can you do? As you turn, you now see the fabled crag dweller who's you've been able to keep track of to be the heads of the operation here. So this would be the person you really had to impress. Oh, hi. You, you're the leader, right? I'm one of them. I'd say over there is the other. Hi. I can encourage your party with my song and dance, if you'd be happy to have me. It, did Connor leave by now? Thank you. Yeah, Connor we'll say and Bear are gone, right? They are still in eye shot, but they have left. Okay. And where is Gub Gub, for the record? Looking like he's talking to one of the vendors. <laughs> Probably. <Okay. though>. Yeah. <laughs> Sell off that whistle. <laughs> well. Don't know much about encouragement here. Okay, but here's but here here here's the thing. Like this is the first person who's actually come to us 
since Crystal to really join our group. So, I mean, the most we could do is give her the same opportunity we ha we gave Crystal. So, I mean, you know, show us what you could do. Showcase your skills. <clears throat> oh, okay. Okay, I can do that. Uh, what do you want me to do? <laughs> well, um, I'm kind of banged up. Not counting the, um, I mushed to my leg. I'm, I, I, I don't expect you to re regrow my leg. It's fine. But I'm feeling a little hurt. So what you gonna do about it? Why don't you go see Crystal? She's our healer. Okay, shh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, young lady. What can you do to make me feel better? <laughs> yeah, he sounds so... <laughs> <laughs> Shut <dark>. up. <laughs> I look, now I have a second leg. I mean, she is, she, 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 like the way you're describing her, she is probably my age, so, but anyway. How old is she, by the way? Late yes. teens. Yes, Naomi, what do you need? She looks in her late teens. Can I, can I play a heart song, Rejoice? Yes, yes, you can. Cool. Can you? If you click your token, it will be a button there at the top. Oh. Oh, oh damn, oh, that performed. Oh. <gasps> a mysterious creature has alerted you inside the grass. Prepare for battle. Duh, 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 duh. Well, she's 18, River. That's extremely young, so. So describe your dance but, in song. Enough to matter. I pull up my harp and I sing and play a very uplifting song that seems to. I don't know. This <laughs> 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 yeah, lost my train of thought there. Um, You're as good as It seems to yeah. invigorate you and <laughs> return some vitality. Hmm. I start tapping my right foot. <laughs> oh, that's. Feels nice. Yeah. 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 I think, I, I, I think we can work with this. I look to Kronk. I look over to Thomas. <laughs> He's busy checking her out. <laughs> yeah, but how does, how does his wound look? I don't know. Does she... But I'm looking at his wound. It's not a magical heal. It's a emotional. Heal. I don't know this. This is why I'm asking. That's why I just described it to you. <laughs> okay. Hmm. He doesn't seem to notice, but it's still there. Yeah, wounds don't magically close, but he's not feeling pain from it. I don't know. Crystal seems mm -hmm. to do that. So it's twenty seconds. Twenty-one seconds passed. In which case, the song's ended, and we've gained five HP for seven rounds. So that'll be three three seconds times seven. Yeah. Well, Let's go for crystal. I might as well warn you. We're still starting out. We don't quite have a whole lot of pay coming to us yet. Luckily, I. Oh, I don't need to pay. You, I'm just here I'm for the experience. Oh, okay. <laughs> And what, okay, but just to clarify, what exactly experience are you looking for? I want to be able to live independently and, and explore the world. Right. Okay. One sec. Can I, Krog, Crystal, can you, can, can we just talk about this a little further away? Just stay there, ma'am. Right there. It's okay. cool. All right, as I hobble over, with my back turned to her. Okay, um, now she seems useful, but I'm just a little concerned that she doesn't know what she's getting herself into. Well, she's obviously heard what we've been doing. I mean, a little bit, but I mean, do you? And not what part of that is safe? I. 
It's just like I don't. Of it, she knows at least what she's getting into by what we've done so far. I mean, like she looks like my age, and I mean, I'm not entirely sure if I knew exactly what I was getting into. And look at the state of me. Do I really want to just put that on someone else? We already killed a kid. Exactly. Someone younger than her has already died, which means she has a better chance of surviving. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't want to bring <laughs> someone else into this fold who doesn't un- know what she's doing. I look over at Crystal and I was like, I, I go next to Ads and I was like, I don't know, she's. I think she's pretty good for the male morale. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say to that, Croc. <laughs> what? Well, wait, what did he oh. say? I didn't hear him. I don't know. Roll, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if we could... Alright, we can keep her around. Good. Like, maybe it'll be good for Chris. I mean, maybe it'll be good for you, Crystal. I mean, having another female around with... It's just been a sausage party all this entire time around you. I mean, I think you'll maybe like <laughs> a little bit of taco in your diet, right? <laughs> at, least, at least on the plate. <laughs> right? Oh, God. Sorry. I, mean, I love this. I'm so happy right now. Ash, <laughs> thank you for giving me this opportunity to witness this. <laughs> okay, oh, so so we're letting her in for at least a little bit. See, 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 see how she does. Hopefully, yeah, she's, she, we'll, we'll make sure she won't die. I right? Think- Young, but I. I mean, I'm young. <laughs> Old? Yeah. I'm 18, Kronk. As I've told you numerous times. <laughs> All right, we're cool. This is the first time I remember. All right, we're cool. We're cool. Okay. She, says, I turn- she could be pretty useful. So while you okay. guys were having that conversation, Thomas is just next to you, Naomi, and just look- looking you up and down. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do in this group? Oh no, you're so naive. <laughs> I'm the doctor. Hopefully, you little thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, that's canon. <laughs> oh, like he act polite. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he just grins. He's like, oh, "Hopefully, so you little kid." Oh God! No. <laughs> she I didn't didn't tilts it. her head and looks blankly at you. So as I as, as I turned around, okay, you're in the group. We'll see. We'll we'll we'll, we'll see how it goes. But um, I think uh, I think you'll do good, Thomas. Why are you why are you so close to her? <laughs> <laughs> Just enjoying the new prospects of a new friend. Says okay, hand Tom. On her shoulder. Okay, yeah, Thomas, yeah, come over here. Dance <laughs> <laughs> to yourself. <coughs> yeah, we can all be friends. Yeah. Yeah, you trying to take my friend away from me, Adze? Oh. Okay, I look over to Crystal. Yeah, Adze, let's all have a group hug as I hug Thomas. <laughs> hey, hey, get off! <laughs> <laughs> starts pushing Croc off. Okay, I, I, I look to Crystal and I'm like, can, 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 can you like keep Na- Naomi company and making sure that Tom doesn't get too close to her? Crystal nods and just kind of like walks over to Naomi. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, hello, man. What's your name? I'm Crystal. I'm the healer of the group. Ooh, that's really helpful. And you're so pretty. She uh doesn't know how to respond. But thank you. <laughs> you're yeah. She she just doesn't know how to respond after that. <laughs> you all seem like a super group. I'm so glad to be able to join you. Oh, she's too pure for this world. All right, <laughs> but we should. What we're we're going to go get the Karnas woman, right, Pronk? Yeah. I don't know. Should we 
bring Naomi along? Eh. What are we talking to her about? We're talking to her about... You wanted to talk to her about the prospect, I believe, about finding the Gank Brothers alongside her. I believe. I wanted to talk to her about a couple things. What, what did you want to talk to her about then? Personal things. We'll figure out what we'll figure out what when we get there, but just wanted to. Is it, is talk. it a private thing? Is it something you need to talk to me about? No, Kronk. <laughs> I assure you, it's nothing having to do with you. That have to do with someone else in this group? It has nothing to do with any of you. Trust me. Why do you? Anyway, all right. Let's. I've never just, lost uh, a leg. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Um. Should we? Should we go after Connor and Bear just to let them know where we're going? They already know. They already well, know. Okay. So we and they're head. going to that bar. Yeah, they're going to the bar. We're going to the hotel to talk to the Karna's woman. <laughs> Wait, are we doing the time skip thingy or not? Not yet. Yeah, it's, it's, the it's, woman. it's after the Cardinals woman? After yeah. the Cardinals woman and we successfully end this day. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> it's been a long day. So as you guys begin to move, what if you move friend at hand? You're stopped at Make first sure. with Gub, <coughs> who now has what looks like a new shovel, a new hammer, um, and wood chopping axes on his person. Well, you got a good deal, didn't you? I mean, this is the only way Gub Gub will stay alive, and you not kill Gub Gub. So yeah, Gub Gub, we're not kill you. <laughs> like, calm down, man. <coughs> we're, not, we're, we're not that kind of people. When you. Chase Gub Gub down tree. This is what Gub Gub have to do to not have Gub Gub die. Pleasing new Gub Gub friends. You guys chased him into a tree. <laughs> that was when we, you know, met. remember. That was that was yeah when you weren't there. Uh, yeah, I wasn't uh, I'm pretty there. sure you were there, was, right? Weren't you I was, there? I was not there. I was remember I was back in the camp. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. what I just said. You weren't there. Exactly. That's my point. Uh, yeah. I was trying to remember. I was like, I was pretty sure the residents were there. I was like, wasn't he there? Everybody besides Anse mm -hmm. was there. Yeah. So I'm like, what? Okay. Um. I mean, I'm sure they probably had the reasons because you're in the, with the other crux thing. But you're fine now. Okay. We see that. We see. We see that you're good, more or less, and that you're not gonna go around trying to kill people. Okay. That's all we're asking. Oh. We'd also like you to be also part of our group, but I mean, that's all ultimately up to you, okay? We just want you to be a model citizen. So Gub Gub won't die if Gub Gub doesn't want to build door? You will not die. Can it still be called the Gub Hole? It can still be called the Gub Hole if you want. <laughs> He seems to give off a visible sigh of relief. That being said... Intensely at Gub -Gub. <laughs> <laughs> Try to avoid Bear. <laughs> I, I believe he already knows that. <laughs> Not that I wasn't there for that conversation, so try to avoid Bear. Uh, by the way, uh, Gub Gub may or may not remember that Connor promised to help him if he ever needed help. You know, like surviving or like staying alive and like people were trying to murder him. <coughs> Bear. <coughs> so, um, yes, uh, Miss uh, Naomi, this is Gub Gub. He's a friend. It's okay. I was muted. Shit. As Gub Gub <laughs> looks to Naomi at first, the palish green cucks turns its head away and whispers to Kronk, 
Gub Gub seen people like her before. What do you mean? <laughs> they walk in force. They look scary. They she killed Gub Gub's last at him. boss. I thought we did that. No, you killed Gub Gub's last boss. They killed Gub Gub's last last boss. Well, Sarah, what did you say? <laughs> she simply waves excitedly at Gub Gub. <laughs> <laughs> but this this one for now is doesn't have any weapons. But if you want, you can still stick with me. By the way, I hear all that, right? I don't know. Can you? Nana, do you roll listen? Do you I care enough? I think I'd roll a listen if Gub Gub looks at her and then looks at Kronk and starts whispering to him. Like, Go ahead, he... nosy. Yeah, <laughs> I will. Maybe, maybe I mean, we'll lop that off can too. Be as no... <laughs> Might as well be <laughs> as nosy as you can since you got a nose. It's for now, you mean? <laughs> Shut up. Um. Well, what the hell? Um, it's under L. I mean, <laughs> of course it's under L, but. <laughs> Knowledge. There it is. Why do I always? It's so freaking hard. Yeah, you find it. Oh, okay, I, I hear it. Okay, cool. Yeah, he found um, it. Yeah, I found it. Um, okay, so I look over to Naomi. So, um, Miss uh, Naomi, dearest. Um, so uh, what's your uh, home life like? Like, where are you from? Oh, just a small village. I lived with my three older brothers and my mother and father. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, your, uh, people are nice over there? Yes, they're very nice. Cool. By the way, um, just so we're all clear and, uh, we're kind of having a little bit of race relations issues in this group it's kind of weird but um just so i know what do you prefer to be called as uh what what do you mean um i see your pointed ears those are cute um so uh <laughs> do your do, do, does your family also have pointed ears yes nice um what is your family they're a bunch of villagers. Okay, what... What are you? I'm a person just like you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I'd say, if you want some alone time with her, we can just speak to the cons woman another time. <laughs> it, it's... We... When, Naomi... And I'm just, uh... Just, you know, just patting her on the shoulder. So, um... What race are you? Uh, love the awkward um, calls. Uh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see how uh, <coughs> is a Samsarin, right? That's a Samsarin. Yes, yeah, that's blue chicks a Samsarin. Gup gup here. <laughs> As I as as I ushered Gup Gup, it's a crux. Crux. I'm a human, a sub race Matawalan. <laughs> Mister Kronk Kronk over here is a crag. Crag dweller. Is it crag dweller? Of the... Yeah. <laughs> what? Dweller. Dweller. It's important. Yeah. And you are. She just looks blankly at you. Okay, I see this isn't getting going through. Well, you're your friends. That's the important thing. Yes, I'm your friend. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> we really need to talk to Connor. I think I think he might know. 
All right, and with that, we're going to go ahead and go on our first break. A real first break this time. <laughs> so, and maybe this for... time we've got 15 minutes. Yeah. Let's see. As long as Anthony doesn't take forever. So thank you guys for watching. You're going to be back in 10 to 15 minutes. This time to stand up, use the restroom, all that mess, and we will see you guys back then. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. Bye, Popes. Bye, Popes. Bye, Popes. Bye. Oh my gosh. All of the racism. My gosh. Yeah, so Blue I mean, like.